Jürgen. Um, right. A year ago today, the club were completing the deal for Thiago Al- Alcantara to sign a year ago today. I was just going to say, how would you assess that first year and how much more do you think there is to come from him? Oh, much more. Of course, the start was not perfect because um, we came here and it was, uh, um, yeah, got COVID, um, got injured early and stuff like this. That, of course, makes everything more difficult, but he showed what, what kind of player he can be for us and will be for us. So there's a lot more, lots more to come, of course. So uh, it was, maybe it's now a year, but if you want, it's actually only half a year. Uh, because of all the things that happened around, um, coming then in a new club, um, in in the most difficult period of all our lives, um, he settled really well. Despite that, so he, um, family is here, loves it here. He is in, in the middle of the team, um, so it was very quick the case, and um, it's a really good, a really good character, a really good personality, and obviously a world class player. So, no, it's all fine. Good. Okay, Paul, hello. Yeah, and what, what do you ask him specifically to do in games? Can you explain a little bit about the tactical instructions that you give him? Just just so we can understand exactly what it is. Tiago. How you want it. Like, yeah, Tiago, please, yeah. And that's always different, obviously, with the players because we um, there, there are some natural skills what the boys have, and um, in, in 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 Tiago's case, that's for sure. All the all the things uh, we would. Um, uh, right under the headline, all the technical stuff is kind of easy for him. So, but of course he ha- he has to and had, he had to and has to um, adapt to the way we play, to the way we defend, um, all these kind of things. So um, we we he played probably more often at Munich in, in a rather double a double six role, maybe the slightly more offensive player in the, in the, in the double six. But um, for us, it's a it's a complex position. You have to be offensive, you have to be defensive, you have to be really in between the lines. You 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 can drop, but not always um, in the last line to to receive the ball. These kind of things. But actually, he's a natural footballer. That's not that we um, now give him like 50, 60 different things to do in a game. We want him to play his football with uh, some little um, things which he has to, had to adapt to the way we play. And he did that. So that's all fine. Um, I don't ask him now for, for constant runs in behind the last line or stuff like this. He is like a, is a playmaker, obviously. Um, that can be sometimes a little bit deeper, but it must be very often between um, the two the two interesting lines um, of the opponent as well in a, in a more close area but with this passing he can change the game immediately he has, um, has a great vision um, he is really good in that and, and and can chip balls in each area he wants to is with like a golfer actually uh, a good golfer world-class golfer <laughs> and can do that obviously without thinking and um, no, I, I, I love the way he plays um, and it's all good so how is that it's it's a complex position to aid for us, but we always, because we have their different um, skill sets, we use the different skill sets from time to time when we when we think this skill set makes more sense against this opponent, so more dynamic, more more uh, more runs in behind, um, more natural offensive, more natural defensive, all these kind of things. So that's that, that's the reason for for different lineups. Okay. Thank you, Paul. And then to finish, Chris Baskin. Hi again. It's the same theme, really. I mean, I don't know whether you know, but Thiago, uh, Fabinho, and Hen- Henderson, they've only ever started in the same midfield once. We all know the reasons why. You've not had the chance really to pick them. Um, uh, I mean, is, is it in a way Thiago now joining the squad of a year ago, if you like? I mean, you, I think you said last year, you know, we should try with this squad because we haven't seen them yet because of all the injuries. And now you have that squad. Are we actually going to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether you understand what I'm asking you there, but you get to drift. He's not really had. He's not. He's not joined the Liverpool's. He's now at the Liverpool squad. He should have been a year ago. If you like, that makes sense. Yeah. Which game did they start together? I, I don't know. It was the. Yeah, it was. It was a memorable one. It was the. Uh, it was the derby at Goodison Park. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and there's a good reason for um, why they yeah. didn't start it off together. Obviously. Um, no, but that's obviously the only reason. Of course, they can play together. It's, it's a little bit like um, 
Yeah, we need our side. That, that, that can work really well together and um, will happen probably in the future. That's uh, no doubt about that. But um, that we have, our side, we have so many different different skill sets. And I don't think, I don't have a first three in midfield. Why should I? Um, the boys all, of the boys have to offer in training. If they offer in training, then I have to make decisions. And um, obviously, we, we, we try, even when we have only three days' time between two games, we try to prepare it like to get the opponent as serious as possible. And that means how can you make little advantages? It's not just that you push through always exactly what you want to do. Maybe there are some different opportunities in, uh, in the game against the other opponent. So we have to try to use that. And that's what we do. So but it's nothing to do with Thiago or whatever. The, 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 the Premier League is, is too, too, too intense to, to talk now. Imagine we would have four midfielders only and three of them have to play all the time. And the one is coming in from time to time that just doesn't work. This is a very intense position um, with a lot of um, uh, intense challenges where we have to be as fresh as pop possible to be just ready to um, to face them, and um, that's what we do. Um, but yeah, Thiago. Again, this year the start was not perfect. So because of Euros, he came slightly later. Then he came here, was injured, um, and then he could start the preseason later with us. So that's not perfect, but it's not a massive problem. Meanwhile, we are now in the um, match day five. Five. Yes. Uh, yeah, for match five in the Premier League, so we are, we get there. Uh, we are getting there, but um, it's a long season to come. And again, each little bit you can get fitter to to be ready for that. We try to use, and while we do that, maybe sometimes other other players have to play. Um, they with the full preseason, and then there's uh, the autumn coming, the winter coming. Spring coming and then the all decisive early summer coming and um, hopefully we can keep them all fit and fresh. Then we will be a really tough cookie to play against. You got to follow, Chris. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just, I just wondered, was there a kind of plan against just evolve the midfield? Because of the, the tried and trusted that was so successful with Ginny, Hendo, and for the you know, who, and I know you'll see that there's differences, but. Essentially, they weren't the same as Harvey, for example, when you bring Ross Harvey and he's a more attacking player. So what was your intention this year to just have that little slight more attacking person in the, in the three? Or was that just something that's, that evolves naturally? Or? <coughs> uh, we, we try to develop every year. So that's how it is. We evolve every year so that we... we, 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 we you, one thing you saw in our really flexible triangle on the right side, again, I would say, um, there was that flexible that in the end Mo Salah had to defend the right full back position <laughs> because Trent was in the box and Hendo was, uh, was uh, in the middle of the park or whatever. Um, we want that, uh, but of course we are still in the process to, um, to, to, to set that that really gets settled um, and we don't, that we are not that exposed in a situation like that. Uh, but apart from that, it gives you always offensively uh, uh, um, a little advantage. But defensively, you're slightly more open, so you have to you have to find, figure out, you have to get the rhythm for that it's exactly right. But that's for sure different to last year. We want to do that on both wings. We need flexible triangles that need to get supported. Usually, for when, when, when Bobby is playing, a lot of support from him by dropping. But especially in the last game, we didn't want that. We had to, we, we, we did it differently. Um, and so these are the things we talk about. So it's not that we only... Um, uh, Tell them who's the next opponent and play the same stuff again. We really try to to improve and we really try to develop. And um, for that, the door is open, very open so for everybody to be part of that. And so far it worked out really well. And with Harvey, it was just um, nice to see how naturally he did that. Uh, without um, a young player like him, you don't fill with um, 500,000 informations. You just let him play and have a look. Okay, what's natural and where can he hit? Needs a little advice or whatever, and he didn't need a lot of advice. He just played a position. It was really nice to see. Um, that's why he played. He did all that. Was you know, there in the full preseason? Uh, had all the sessions. That's why he played. But now Hendo played the position, um, um, and Nabi came came in on the other side and played a super game offensively. Yeah? It was really dominant and all that stuff. So it's nice to see that we can do that. And again, I said, it's the engine room of, of, a, of a football team, this midfield. And we have only three proper and not five um, or whatever. Uh, means they have to be fit and they have to be really um, in charge of the game as much as we can. And that's why we decide from time to time like this or like that.